Hey everyone, uh, this is Jacob Palmer. <laughs> um, I always sometimes like uh, opening up with that phrase, but anyway, um, I am actually going to do another card reading for you guys. Um, I'm going to start with this deck right here, um, which is going to be our main flow of the tarot while I go ahead and um, clarify with this. So um, it's just so that I can um, kind of like um, see if I can add like a new um, way of doing our card readings so yeah um just know it might go a little bit differently than what we've been doing uh in the past so anyway let's get to the readings um this is gonna be for um our incoming pisces um yeah and also, um, and also, I'm gonna do a slight reading after this with the Aquariuses for um, the upcoming week uh, tarot card reading. So, stay tuned, Aquariuses, if you're ready. Uh, so, look for the the following um, video after this one. Um, for you, Pisces, let's get to it. Um, let's go for love relationships, people that are already looking for the one. Ooh. Okay. Um, if I can shake that one out. So... Uh, ooh. So, some of you Pisces out there, um, you might be going through some kind of, um, maybe some hurt, or maybe uh, you might be dealing with some kind of issue at hand, um, that... Uh, some of you might be dealing with a reversed judgment. Uh, oh, um, I'm gonna flip this up that right side up for one second so you guys can see better. Um, you see the lady that is over in the moon area, and she's like pouring all along the uh, planet Saturn. There, uh, so there's like a lot of. I would say a lot of stuff that you've been doing that has been a little bit hard on you. Um, some kind of action that like felt as if it um, rephrased or um, kind of went a different way than what you've expected. So yeah, um, <laughs> looks like somebody message me but anyway um yeah anyway um it's basically just like you had done an action and now there's like some kind of um missed drama of some sort so yeah there's a bit of an issue there Let's just see if there's any other cards that come out before we move on to the third party. Alright, I guess we move on to third party. Um, so let's see what third party is about with Pisces. Oh. I'm getting an uh, instant feeling of some kind of flightiness. Uh, somebody um, kind of like 
flew away from their love partner and love yep like i was saying da, 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 da. somebody was acting like a fool and they were like uh they were looking at you going like hey little mr king of souls hello but however that's really not what you wanted to go through I would say as much as you really like attention, as much as you really like um, comfort, I feel like there's someone in particular uh, of this third party um, that kind of entered this in more of a full perspective. So, uh, they were kind of childish, um, kind of like, um, didn't really have much to go by. Um, I'm talking to you guys and, uh, ladies, um, that might have some kind of, uh, kiddish adult that is around you. Um, someone that will probably not understand themselves for probably a good couple of years, um, even from this point on, um, somebody is going to probably take multiple years of actually understanding themselves. Oh, uh... I'm getting kind of like this uh, injured vibe, this um, detrimental vibe of some sort. Yeah, I'm getting like somebody that is wanting to take you in, wanting to um, achieve you while your lover feels stuck. Feels uh, like they um, are dealing with a hardship of some sort. Um, let's see what family life and house life is like. Family, house life for Pisces. Can I have that come out, please? Ooh, we are in a hot topic on that today. Holy shit. All right, uh, so it looks like some chaos has backfired on this person. So looks like they have discovered their brunt force and it sparkled you. It made you feel like you became this star. The star of the household. <laughs> so I would say um, there's something particular that you might pick up that is like uh, a mind-blowing um, understanding of something. Yeah, yeah, um, you know how in the star, um, I think since I am an Aquarius, um, Aquariuses are known as, like, water bearers. Um, I feel like you're, um, Pouring some kind of truth bomb into this, which is very interesting. Um, but anyway, that's that's very interesting. Like chaos being uh, being um, open to what it truly is, 
and uh, you shining with uh, this massive truth that's coming in. So that, that's a pretty good that's a pretty good uh, place to be in. Anybody that's dealing with career. Mm, uh, okay. Um, sometimes cards come out where it's like they don't really um, flip open, but but it's like I get guidance and they're like, nope, not this card. So it's like I am just reading it, and seeing if it has to come out, and if it says no, then I just like let it be and keep shuffling. So let's see how. How career is doing for our Pisces? Whew. That was instant. Um, so I think there is some kind of uh, resilience that was coming in um, that you had um either done towards your job or maybe maybe the job is like wow man you're glowing look at you and you're like oh yeah i know i i he can shine all day long so let's uh let's get some kind of deeper meaning into that let's here um, so basically seven of wands is kind of like what comes after six of wands obviously but six of wands is kind of like you're walking away from some kind of um, hurtful crowd some kind of crowd that doesn't mean um, importance of you to where it's like, you're like, I don't need this crowd. I'm just going to go on my own task or my own very way. And that that's like what you were in. Now you're in a spot where it's like people are like, oh my God, this person looks magnificent. They're shining. Oh my God. Like, like they... <sighs> They can almost see sparkles. That's what Pisces normally has uh, showing around their field. Um, us Aquariuses have stars, but um, it's just you know what naturally comes to their energy, what comes to their field um, of energy. Let's see. Let's see what comes after the resist uh, resilience about career. For Pisces. Ooh! Man, you have a handful here. Holy shoot. Alright. Um, maybe you might be in connection of some sort of... Maybe uh, Leo of some sort. Or maybe... Um, maybe you might have some connection to the sun. Maybe physically the sun. Or maybe, uh, maybe like an energy of the sun. Um, or maybe this person could just be glowing really, uh, really nicely. Um, or this career could be glowing very nicely for some of you that are looking for a job. Um, I feel like, oh, wow. Okay, this makes more sense. Um, I feel like, you're shining very, uh, very positively. Uh, you have a lot of resilience of, of positivity that brings in this justice, that brings into this truth of like, um, this is uh, this is who I really am. I'm I'm not going any further in depth with this. And look, look, looks like a lot of. Uh, hurtful people are losing their support for you. People that are uh, that are losing their fake support, and that means that there's really decisions that these people have to do, or decisions that you have to do, 
where it's like um, kind of like going to um, maybe the perspective of different people, like, you know, having this list of people that I like, uh, or like a checklist of some, some sort for these people where it's like, I'm going to take this person. I won't take that person. I won't take that person. I'm going to take this person. I'm going to take this person. I'm going to take this person. I won't take that person. Things like that. Um, let's see about wealth. See how wealth is doing. Wealth, wealth, wealth. Ooh, ooh. A trauma. Trauma, trauma, trauma. You got a big life ahead of you. Yeah, it is. Man. Nine of Swords isn't really a positive card. There's a lot of trauma. I would say either you had some issues with money, maybe you had some kind of um, loss of money, maybe you had some kind of um, misconnection with money, or maybe this person that you're dealing with, maybe uh, they did a oh, Maybe they stole your money. Wow. Maybe you got yourself a thief. And you were pretty upset and angry and furious. Because they won't keep... Um, you know, um, they, they won't uh, stop giving you the uh, the control in your life. They won't allow you to have control. They won't allow you to, to take, um, take the personality um, into your own hands. And they're kind of getting greedy. And they've been greedy, actually. Because... Now, mother freaking fulfillment is coming into you. Where it's like, since these people have been stealing a whole bunch from you, now, now, this whole entire trauma and uncontrol is going to flip on a dime. You are going to find yourself in a better placement than where you previously were or where you're currently at. You're going to find yourself in the future where, or, uh, or maybe like, uh, I'm getting, I'm getting a month from now, a month from now, you'll find yourself fully in this fulfillment stage where it's like all this shit here happened so then these people can really see the true enlightenment of having to uh, have a abundance for themselves, to really sit in miracle rather than, you know, making false um, actions towards the miracle, you know? Because there are some people out there that their action was to just naturally let it come in compared to, um, compared to, you know, being told to do this and do that and do this and do that, you know, like, I feel like they've already completed it, but the problem was is that they just kept going and kept going and kept going they just never stopped so I feel like that's the issue right now is that they have not stopped 
Um, people that are already in a relationship, already in a relationship, uh, in a marriage, maybe. Woo! Instant. I would say there's a little bit of uns instability or um, like a misuse of stability um, coming from someone else. I feel like you guys are pretty much stable. The problem is that this person uh, either that you are dealing with or it could be someone that is around the two of you or if you're if you're into poly it, you know it, it's quite possible you might be into poly um, some of you might be seeing someone either within your poly um, or maybe someone outside of the relationship of any sort that could be spreading instability or misuse of stability into your relationship. So you got to be very, very careful, very careful what you're being with or who you're being with. Be very careful. And for all of you Pisces, you are enlightened. You are enlightened. You just got to know exactly how to use that enlightenment. How to interact with that enlightenment. So, you got to be very careful, guys. Very careful. So... There is a particular, yeah, mm -hmm. so maybe there's somebody that is from the past that's doing this instability, a past friend, a past, um, past lover actually, or Maybe this could be a past uh, family member. Who knows? But I think you guys know. You guys exactly know. It's just a matter of the awareness. You got to be aware about this instability and this past person. Um because you're getting the uh, you're getting the mission you're getting the vision and they're not and also there's going to be a lot of grief with this person and also you i feel like you're probably going to grieve a little bit but not enough to have touching feelings about this which is interesting and you got six of wands upside down holy shoot holy shoot you got like a lot of a lot of craziness <laughs> a lot of craziness on this table holy shoot uh all right, well, um, can I get some clarification about the, uh, the, um, judgment and knight of swords being upside down for relationship, or sorry, <laughs> relationship, or, uh, for gaining a relationship for the singles of, uh, Pisces? Let's see. Ding. You guys know 
exactly where you're headed. You guys know exactly where you're headed. Even though that you have a little bit of uh, misunderstandment. Maybe you might have a little bit of a fight between each other. You know exactly where you're headed. And you guys are together. So... Yeah. Um, let's see. Clarification between the Bull and the Knight of Swords. Uh, right side up for the third party. Let's see what the clarification is for the Pisces and third party. Yep. Yep. Wheel of Fortune. I would say if you don't clear away this third party, they're going to manifest you as their lover. And you'll probably lose your main lover. You'll probably have to be very careful about that, guys. If you follow this third uh, third person or a third party, you'll be losing this um, beautiful and wonderful lover that has been the one truly manifesting you. So you gotta be careful. The five of wands and the star. Uh, five of wands upside down, the star up. That right side up for uh, house and family for Pisces. Ooh, hoo, hoo. instant. Um, so some of you might be dealing with some kind of uh, reversal of some sort. Maybe somebody's getting a little. Naki, somebody's getting a little um, agitated at something, and you're you're feeling down the dumps. But however, spirit has you. Spirit will always help you, in uh, in your um, deepest um, miracles and manifestations. You're going to uncover something that's going to be beautiful. And you'll come from the Nine of Cups upside down to the Ten of Cups, right side up. So, you're going to uncover something that's going to be beautiful. So, let's see um, what this career path is like. For the Pisces, for clarification, for our set of wands, the sun, the justice, um, all upside up, uh, the king of cups uh, upside down, and then we have the lovers upside, uh, right side up. Uh, do we have any clarifications for that, for the Pisces? Again, are you, are you guys like, you guys, ah, uh, yeah. So this person sees you shining and you know that you're shining. I feel like, I feel like you're doing excellent in your career. So that's, that's wonderful. You are doing excellent in career guys so i i have to say bravo bravo um just like don't stop too early just keep keep moving with your progress keep moving with um keep moving with your your um Your momentum, your your movement of motivation, um, just like 
don't don't lose the um, the flow of of doing the right things in in your life about career um, and also probably even with your other places of life um, like love uh, overcoming the third party uh, family and house life definitely career yeah uh, let's see what clarification comes out for the uh, wolf park for Pisces let's see Pisces wells Pisces wealth here comes Pisces 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 here's the well of Pisces <laughs> All right, here comes um, here comes the uh, clarification for wealth with Pisces. Um, oh man, I'm gonna take that song and I'm just gonna start singing it all night long tonight. Good gravy. Um, so let's go ahead and. Um, See what comes out for wealth for Pisces. Uh, oh, 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 there we go. And that one does also need to come out. Um, the one that kind of slightly flopped. Um, Ooh, you got yourself a little bit of a beauty. I see that somebody has actually appraised your wealth because they, just because they had seen a new angle to things, they saw a new angle and they're like, Maybe this Pisces is right. Maybe they should actually get the the grain towards the right stuff. Um, probably either a Leo or an Aries of some sort. Maybe they are seeing what you're doing and they're like, "Oh, awesome! You guys are you uh, you guys are like extremely like." like smart and intelligent and you guys are doing well um Sagittarius's might be in a different spot but if you guys only know a Sagittarius and um maybe they're going out to other people and they're like um like this person did this this person did that and then that person that's receiving is like huh maybe this person is actually doing awesome so that's probably what's going on right now uh with some of you that are either um you know people that are uh, that are of sagittarius or maybe people that might be of a leo or maybe even a, of a aries because I'm seeing uh, like a very particular fire sign with the Page of Wands. But I feel like with some of you, I feel like there's some kind of um, um, some kind of royalty of some sort where they're like stepping in. Maybe maybe they could be a magician. Maybe they could be just standing in and being like um you know how like um so maybe some of you that are probably 25 years old and older uh some of you might have seen uh lord of the rings um where like gandalf is um talking to um um what's his name king king theo uh, king theoden there we go. 
Um, that's kind of what's striking my mind where it's like that person has some kind of uh, loyalty towards you. So, yeah. You have some pretty good people. Um, let's see how this relationship or marriage is going for you guys. Uh, any of you that are in the relationship or marriage. Ooh, look at that. The Queen of Wands. Looks like somebody's got a lover. I feel like somebody is, uh, somebody around you might be also a player. So you might want to be a little careful about that. So, yeah. It's going to be a hard time if you deal with them. Um, but for the most part, there is somebody that is and how uh, has always been a caring person for you. So, um, also you have the Queen of Pentacles upside down, which is very interesting because the Queen of Pentacles right side up is technically like. There's someone that is supportive of you, uh, even uh, either if they care about you or not, they, they're always supportive of you, but I feel like since it's upside down, I think there's somebody that had to understand some kind of pitfall in this, so yeah. Yeah, you, you really um, broke through on that. So no matter um, the case, you guys are doing wonderful. You guys are doing magnificent. Even though that there have been some downsets and downfalls that uh, were temporary around you, um, it just opened up the space for you to um, some point in time uh, make a revelation within yourselves um, to make a deep understanding of like how that's how this happened um, how this got you to this point so um, you're doing pretty good anyway no further ado uh, we're ending it at probably about 38 minutes and some odd se uh, seconds so I hope all of you have a wonderful time take care love and light to you guys as always Peace.